Okay, and oh. yes. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I think I must get used to me just being out of breath on a <laughs> on a Friday. <laughs> Even starting a bit later, we oh, were like. Yes. How are you, everybody? Happy Friday. So nice to be back. It's been four weeks since we were here. Um, so do say hello if you're watching us, if you're joining us this afternoon. Oh, hold on. I just need to flick my camera. Yes, yeah, so four weeks since we were with you last. There's been loads going on. I think we were with you just before the Jubilee, weren't we, last time? Um, busy making bunting and organising garden parties and things, but it was uh, not the best weather for our Jubilee weekend, was it? I wasn't here. Oh no, you weren't. You were here for the Friday though, oh, for yeah. our party. The party wasn't too bad. And then Amy went off to Rhodes. So you had a lovely week in the sun, didn't you? Yeah. Great week. So do say hello if you're watching us so that we know that you're mind you, like I always say, we're quite happy to chat to ourselves. Um Amy's monitoring the comments on Instagram and I will flick through my screen if it oh god, come on. If it'll come on. We've got loads to catch up with. We've um, had a really busy few weeks as usual which has been brilliant we are um, I think since we last saw you um, Mark Francis has been here from the same bee he was teaching a lovely shirt workshop hi Ginny hi Jilly how are you uh, it's been ages since we saw you um, yeah Mark Francis was here did a fantastic shirt workshop you'll have seen pictures of those shirts uh, on the um, website and hopefully he'll come back again hi Sally um, hi Sally how hi, are you Susan. and Susan nice to see you um, yes, yeah, so we had uh, Mark was here. Then we then I had a half term sewing school. Amy dashed off to Rhodes, which was lovely. Hi Maggie. Hi Maggie. Yay! Thanks for joining us. Um, uh, there's been um, skirts workshops, couture jackets, sew alongs, level three. Uh, oh, Sally's joined us from Lady Buzzard. Oh. Oh, hi Suzanne. How are you? Is you're going to be a bit late, or you are a bit late. You're coming back to join us a bit later. <laughs> Either way, it's nice of you to join us. Thank you, Suzanne. Um, there's been afternoon and evening classes, and then um, uh, Amy got back from Rhodes, and then my lovely daughter Alice came over from the US to spend a week. We had a week of wedding planning, didn't we, Amy? We were running around doing all sorts of wedding yeah. stuff. Um, oh, Ginny's got toothache. Yeah, but you'll be coming to see us in July and August when we get back from our, our massive trip. Uh, so, yeah, we had a weekend with Alice here doing wedding stuff, which was very nice. Lots of good fun, and trying out food and champagne. Went to Tinwood for a wine tasting, which was good, wasn't it? Angel? It was, it was. A bit chilly that day, wasn't it? Um, and then I've had a vintage sewing weekend. And I've seen some lovely pictures of vintage uh, dresses. Hi, Dan. Not on holiday this time. No feet in the pool this time. It's just pouring with rain here, isn't it? It's just starting to rain. Is it? Yeah, it looks like it's in that window. Oh. Um, yeah, so it's been a uh, busy, busy time. And then this week we've had. Hi Helen, we've had um, a jeans workshop the last two days, just finished at five o'clock today, which is why, as usual, we were a bit rushing in at the last minute. We, we, we thought we'd make the, the live start a bit later to give us more time. Still running around. Hi Mum. Hi Mum, how are you? Thanks for joining us. So yeah, lovely ladies made some fantastic jeans today, which was good, really good. It's very warm in here. I've been sitting so in, hot. The, in the other room. <laughs> like, we should have set up in the other room with the air conditioning, shouldn't we? <laughs> I'm sat here like, <laughs> if you could see me behind the camera, it's not a pretty see. picture. Mum can see me. Oh, hi Cynthia. Cynthia's here on Instagram. Oh, Dan, you had the little baby. What did you have? You have to message me and show me some pictures, Dan. Oh, congratulations to you both. That's exciting. Was that a bit early? I was thinking July, but maybe not. Anyway, congratulations. Send me some pictures. Um, so coming up, well, coming up, we're off to New York next week. Woo! Yay! We're very excited. Finally, after three years of planning, our New York tour and cruise is finally happening. It's actually a very exciting day today because yes. the First Lady is on her way and she just messaged me to say she's in her transfer car from the airport, landed on time, got through security in 45 minutes at really JFK. Good. JFK, that's amazing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and she's in the transfer, so yeah. it's all very real today. Yeah, that's the first lady. All of the it? mountains of planning is paying off. All of our ladies that go at different times, so the lady who's gone today is going to see family, but we don't actually all meet up properly all together until the 3rd um, of, uh, till the third of July, so. Janet says she's just arrived at her Airbnb. Oh. Uh, Jilly says so she's very envious. Oh, Dan yes. says a little, little boy, boy called Teddy. Teddy. Oh, how lovely. Good name. Yeah. 
Congratulations. Oh, well, I'm coming up to Harrogate in November, uh, Dan, so I'll have to, you have to bring him round to meet his auntie Claire. <laughs> That's so exciting. So yeah, so the next few weeks, we ha I have got some classes next week, afternoon and evening classes. Level three finishes next week, and then we're off to New York on Friday for 10 days. No, more than that. More than that, two weeks. Two weeks, two weeks. We get back on the 15th of July, uh, and then classes will all start up again. So have a look on the website if you're interested in coming here and do some sewing. Uh, we will try and post lots of pictures, but we might just be so busy, won't we? Well, so busy. the itinerary is pretty packed. The itinerary packed. is packed. It is packed. Uh, lots of exciting stuff. Um, so yeah, but if you have a look at the website, there are some workshops. We've got the um, Sewing with Maison Fauve patterns, the Makers Atelier tie blouse, uh, the lovely Solar de Dar Elvis uh, um, jumpsuit or dress, which is a fantastic pattern. Looking forward to making that. Tasuti Eva dress, or you can even come and make a bra. All those things going on through the summer. So have a look and hopefully we'll see you when we get back from New York. Uh, very exciting. We're just so excited, I can't quite get it out of my head that we're actually grabbing. Um, it's crazy. Yeah, I can't quite. Uh, it's not going to feel real till we're on the plane. No, it's not. <laughs> this time next week we'll be there. This time next week we will be there. We're going to meet up with Alice for the couple of days, aren't we? Which will be yeah. nice. And then, uh, yeah, it all starts on the 3rd of July. We don't know if we're going to have internet on the ship, do we? So we don't, we we'll probably post some pictures while we're in New York, can't we? But so yeah. It'll be the um, ship bit, but we'll have to wait till we get back. So I've been keeping an eye, there's been so much going on on Midhurst Sewers page. I made a list today of everything that's been made and uh, there's been loads. Janet posted some pictures of her wrap dress and how she added sleeves to our, the Ellie dress which she made on the sew along which was great. We finished that three weeks ago. I've done another one since then. Um, Suzanne, well Suzanne, as usual, <laughs> fantastic amount of sewing. Suzanne's done, she did a copy it make it dress, she's done a red and white bow dress, a uh, most atelier wrap dress, a kilo wrap dress. Lovely McCall's jersey dress and, and a, another, not one, the melody dress, till the sun goes down, melody dress as well. So yeah, loads. Uh, oh, the, and also the, what have I also got? Ellie dress and a Mayfair dress. So that's all, since, since we last saw you, that's all the dresses that Suzanne's made. So that is crazy. Because that is amazing. Let's they're see. about Jilly being envious of the cruise. I'm envious of all that. Yes, I am as well. <laughs> I was saying today, we're just trying to do like 10 minutes in the morning. Yeah, I managed to make evening. a dress, which I cut out. When did I cut that out last week? Yeah. <laughs> it's taken me a week to make a really easy dress. It's been, yeah, really busy. But um, yeah, Sally um, Sally posted um, a lovely picture of her McCall's dress. Really pretty, her jersey dress. Cynthia has done the Meg's Atelier flip collar dress. Posted a picture of herself wearing that. It's some lovely uh, lawn that she got from Ditto. Maggie did another lovely kilo wrap dress. Uh, jo made a couple of dresses as well. Jo was with us this week making jeans and she did a couple of the McCall's dresses. Uh, Justine, oh Justine's pictures were amazing, weren't they? They were from, from, from her, her sister's, sister's wedding. wedding. Justine made outfits for her family for her sister's wedding, and they, no, they all made their own. They made their own. The girls made she their made own. She made her sister's dress, yeah. though, didn't she? Yeah. Her daughters made their own. They all looked outfits. amazing. Great pictures. Um, and Claire again, uh, Claire Mole, who was with us this week, has posted some pictures of her dresses. She's found a company called Sewing Revival. I think in Australia made a couple of um, garments from their patterns. Uh, the, uh, the bell bird top and the finch fold skirt. I have to check out their patterns, particularly the skirt, the um, finch fold skirt, very clever. And she also posted a picture of the Ellie dress. That looks so cool, I loved it. Yeah, it looked really good on her. It did, didn't it? Now yeah. it takes, she said it only takes 80 centimetres of fabric as well. So. It only takes 80 centimetres. Uh, uh, I won't have time to do you a shoulder stand, Julie. Julie's asking if she can get a tailor's, a tailor's um, board and pressing stand. You can have one that's not covered, Jilly, to cover yourself, but I don't think I'll have a chance before Monday to do that. But you can definitely have a, a, a tailor's pressing board. Uh, we're here on, I'm not here on Monday, but Tuesday afternoon. I'll be here if you want to pop in. Um, that'd be great. Oh, Barbie's here. Hi, Barbie, how she are says, you? So good to see you. Can't wait to hear about the cruise. I know, it's very exciting. You can actually be it in your is. country, but so far away. <laughs> <laughs> Who else has been making things? Yes, but Claire also did her Ellie dress. The Ellie dress was um, a starlight pattern that we did as a sew along. And it was lovely. It's a jersey dress, but it had a, a point on the front here, which was very tricky. But we oh, that's it. the one I was talking about. Hmm? The Ellie dress? Yeah. Oh, that's the one she made for her graduation. There was a skirt, though. Also, oh, she did, did I was going to say, that dress did not take 80 centimetres of fabric. No, that didn't. <laughs> that didn't. It was the skirt that did. Yeah, but her dress looked great, didn't it? Did. And very pleased with mine. There's also a very lovely pic of everybody who went to Thread Festival at Farnham Maltings. Lots of Midhurst sewers met up there at Farnham Maltings the other week. I heard it was really good. Did anybody else go to that? 
we didn't go this time. Amy was in Rhodes. Uh, and so uh, I, we didn't have a stand. I wasn't teaching this year, so I thought, actually, I need to do some sewing, making a sequin dress for the cruise. So if anybody else went, let me know. Apparently, next year, it's going to be a two-day uh, show, which is fantastic. So it's going to be a Friday and Saturday, somebody said today. Mm. Uh, so we will definitely have a stand there next year if they'll allow Maybe. us to come back. Because it was a good show for us, though, wasn't it? It so was. It was fun. It's not too far. Fairly local. So let us know what you thought of it this year. And what, what's everyone else making? Oh, Susan said it was good. You enjoyed it, didn't you, Sue? It was Susan that told me that it was going to be a two days after she'd uh, written all the feedback saying it'd be really good if it was a two day show. <laughs> so really good fun. It looked like it was really good fun from the picture anyway. So what's everybody making at the moment? You all, you all with lots of sewing? Is it too hot for sewing? No, my conservatories look a bit warm. Mm. I'm very lucky, our house is quite cool. Mm. So I've been doing a little bit every evening, just doing a little bit of sewing. So there's lots of, lots of news to catch up on on various things. Um, tomorrow is Shop Independent Day. So if you uh, like to shop with independent companies, um, Grace from Beyond Measure is offering 10% off all of her lovely, uh, beautiful haberdashery. Everything on her shop have got 10% off uh, just for tomorrow for Shop Independent Day. Uh, and as an independent business, uh, we're all sort of very grateful for all your support. All through lockdown, it's been amazing. Really, I don't know how we've all kept going. We've, you know, we couldn't have kept going without all your support through lockdown. Uh, very sad that there is another business that is not making, making it through. Cloth Spot, uh, a lovely online fabric shop, are closing down, which is very sad. Um, but they are offering 40% off of their fabrics, which is always, it's really sad when someone closes. But... Um, yeah, they're, they're offering 40% of all their fabrics. I think they just felt that post-COVID and um, with Brexit, they couldn't, they couldn't stop the shop with the sort of things they wanted to, so they decided to close. But have a look at their website and support them right up to the end if you can. Um, oh, Susan started another wrap dress, and she's making the patina blouse. That is the Friday Pattern Company uh, blouse with the long collar. And Christine had it on last week. It looked so nice, didn't it, Susan? She was wearing it on the uh, Vintage Stone weekend. That's a really nice blouse. Because she's doing a workshop with us. Very nice. Barbie oh, said she's got tons of wedding alterations and a big event suit for one of her favourite clients. Oh, brilliant. I love seeing your pictures, Barbie, of all your things you're doing. Uh, there we go. Julie's saying she'll come and get the table for oh, Very Tuesday. sorry. There's some screaming schoolgirls outside Ooh. the window. Yeah. Oh, she's being uh, treated. How lovely. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Um, I'll try. I'll, I'll get one cup for you when we get back from New York, though. Uh, I don't think I'll have time to do it by Tuesday afternoon because I'm not here until Tuesday afternoon. So, and I'm teaching all weekend. So, so I'll get one done for when you come back. But we can definitely put one by for you, and then you can pick it up when it's done, Jilly. And we'll see you on Tuesday. So Susan's saying that Christine's shirt did look really good. The patina blouse did look really good. So yeah, have a quick look at cloth spot. Um, there's a few new patterns out there. Is anyone else trying some new patterns? Starlock have got a new pattern. Uh, it's a woven dress with a sort of um, loose top and a fitted skirt. It's called the, what did I say? I've put it down here, I've forgotten it already. Um, uh, the Elspeth woven dress. Have a look at that. I know Sally was talking about making that, weren't you Sally? Maybe make it on the ship, that would be good. I'm glad that we're saying that now. <laughs> make it on the ship. <laughs> Liberty have just released a whole load of new sewing patterns, which are very pretty. Have a look at them. You can see them on the fold line, but I think you can also get them from Liberty Direct. There's some really pretty um, uh, maxi dresses, shirts. There's a boiler, sort, a boiler suit called the boiler Zadie. Sort. Boiler suit. Boiler suit called um, Zadie. And I think there's another Zadie jumpsuit, isn't there? There is. Liberty have got one called Zadie as well. There's also some really pretty children's dresses and little dungaree sets, if you like making things for children. Have a look, check out the new Liberty patterns, they're very pretty. Like I said, they have got them on the Foldline website. And Foldline, I just discovered today, I didn't realise, they've got a, a, a sale, sale uh, area where all patterns are 40% off. <laughs> so go and have a look. So I think they're mainly ones that may have been discontinued or older, older ones. Go and check out the Foldline sale section um, for getting some nice good value patterns. Starlark have also got 20% off this weekend. They are of their patterns for their tops. Have a look at Starlock. We have a Starlock pattern, don't we? Mm. We have a Starlock pattern. And also another sale, 
named clothing have got 20% off as well. Blind like named patterns. We'll stock up on our patterns. This yeah, weekend. I love named patterns. I've got, I've, so I've got so much to tell you. I've got two pages. I've got two pages. I've so much to tell you. I have two pages of stuff to talk about. Fibre Mood got their new pattern out, issue 20. Beautiful patterns, Fibre Mood patterns. Um, I think they have about 13 patterns with lots of variations in their magazine. So you have to no. really want to make. Oh, in the new one. In the new oh, one. Yeah, they've got a lot more than 13. Oh, yeah, patterns. in their magazine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You can buy their patterns individually as well, can't you? You said they've got a new pattern out. Pattern well. magazine. Sorry, yeah. new magazine. No, I was very issue, confused. Was like, issue what? 20. Uh, have a look at that. You can get it from um, Fabric Godmother. And I was having a quick look at Fabric Godmother. Ooh. I have a look at Fabric Godmother uh, website because I do love their fabrics and they've got a very good blog about um, the sewn bee. So do have a look at that. They've got all, they give you lots of advice about the patterns but also the fabrics as well because she's uh, very good at doing that since she's combining patterns and fabrics. So have a look at Fabric Godmother. I think she's got an open day coming up as well. I think she does, but I can't yeah, remember what the day is. I think it's while we're away, but mm. have a look because it's we went there doing our Brighton retreat, didn't we? It's well worth going to Fabric Godmother on an open day. Definitely, they have some great stuff. I also noticed that um, uh, Kylie and the Machine have bought out a pattern for a bag, which is very nice. And if you subscribe to Kylie and the Machine's uh, newsletter, they're in Australia, so but it's quite nice to see what they've got coming out. You can get twenty percent off their bag. It's called the uh, Mule Tote Bag. And so it looks like a nice easy one to make. It's got nice handles that go on right underneath it. So have a look at that. If you like making bags, you want a nice bag for the beach or for the summer. Which Amy's been making bags this week, haven't you, Amy? Yeah. Made a couple of bags. Needed to put, a couple of bags. Yeah, sort of um, tote bags to put things in when we're shopping. Huh. Maybe shopping. Or maybe just, shopping. Maybe just looking. Maybe just looking. <laughs> it's impossible just to look in New York. Yeah, it is. So some of you will have heard of the uh, By Hand London Romana coat, uh, which is, a, you've got that pattern, haven't you, Amy? I do, I still haven't but made it. I think it. you bought one of the very <laughs> original ones, and I know Sally made a Romana coat, and when we were, when we were doing it, we did notice there were a few um, things that could have been improved on the instructions. Anyway, they have just set down an updated version of the Romana coat pattern with improved instructions. If you already have it, if you've bought it online, you should already get uh, a, um, an update sent through. Um, but if you haven't, um, do have a look at it, it's 20% off until the end of June, the Romana coat, it's a fantastic, very glamorous, classic coat pattern, uh, and they, they go from size 2 to 38, so it's got a big size range, and they've also added a double-breasted version variation of it as well, so have a look at Romana coat, particularly if you're doing my winter coat workshop. I really can't wait to make that coat. You should come on the winter coat workshop. Yeah, maybe I will, because I've yeah. got the fabric, I've got the pattern, I just need to make it. How long have you had it for? Four I've years? had the pattern. Three years? Yeah, because I've changed fabric in that yeah. time. I've got a new fabric for it now. <laughs> I do oh. need to make it because I don't have a winter coat. No, exactly. It's actually essential. Yeah, now. it's a really nice coat pattern. Really nice. Oh, Julie said she went to the Fashion and Textile Museum to see the Royal School of Needlework exhibition. Was they, were they the pictures you put up on Miss Her Sewers, Julie? Because that looked amazing. They were beautiful pictures. I'm hoping, I need to look and see how long that's on for because I'd love to go and see that. I haven't had time to go up to London for any exhibitions for a while. Barbie, you know you can make more than one coat, Amy. Yeah, I know, Barbie. I know. I'm, it's, I do have some like easy peasy boiled wool coats, but yes. I don't have like a nice... I don't even have one proper coat. But you're right, Barbie, I need more than one. Yeah, you do need more than one. <laughs> I need to be like a Parisian. They yeah. have a different coat for every day, don't they? Yes. Hi Marianne. Oh, hi Marianne. How I've been are emailing you? everyone. So I've been emailing Marianne lots today. Yes, Marianne from <laughs> the cruise. <laughs> it's very exciting, isn't it, Marianne? Uh, oh, Jilly said that was pictures from the Royal School of Needlework exhibition. It looked fantastic. All those beautiful techniques. Did you see them? All those sort of tucked fabrics and mm. on Mitter Sewers page. Have a look at that anyway. So, what else have you been up to? Watching the sewing bee. Exactly, I'm Barbie. Sure. Easier said than done. It's having a time, isn't it? Especially with the coat. Oh, she has that great one. She said, I have that great one I did in John Moore's class last yes, year. Yes, the, the swing back coat. That yes. is a beautiful coat. I'm hoping to see that next year um, when I come out there, uh, Barbie. Marianne says yes. Very excited. Marianne's the next person to leave. <gasps> yes, you are. Is, is Marianne leaving before Pauline? Yes, yes, she's going to Cleveland first to oh, see her course, family. Of yes. course, Very exciting. So, sewing bee, let's talk sewing bee. 
saying that you did you watch it last did you watch this week James you haven't had time to catch no, up no I'm very you? sorry confession time I'm not going to come in for this debrief because I haven't seen it but don't worry I'm happy with spoilers yes I think I've seen spoilers on Instagram anyway <laughs> well it's I've, I've got I've only made notes for the last two weeks so I thought I can't go all I did watch last week last four weeks can I really that would take us all night if we talked about yeah, the last no. four weeks oh Marion's going to miss the final yeah Sally who in today said the same thing Suzanne sends her apologies. Oh, she's having surprise visits for the babies. <laughs> That's all right. We'll forgive her. There's babies to cuddle. <laughs> How lovely. Six-month-old baby twins. How lovely. Um, yeah, so last week, let's just talk about last week, because that's the one that Amy did see. I thought it was 1930s week, wasn't it? Yeah. And I did think those trousers were particularly difficult. Unnecessarily difficult. Unnecessarily difficult. And there's no way you would put that inside facing made of the same as the outer fabric. With a pocket. With You just wouldn't do it. You'd make it in no, lining. I've made those sort of trousers before and I used lining fabric on the yeah. inside. It was way too bulky. Flatter, so, yeah. so anyway, I, th I thought they did really well because that was really yeah, tricky, it wasn't was. it? Really tricky. I thought, um, and, and then you did a fantastic uh, transformation for once. I quite liked the transformation. Yeah, change. actually. I really did like it. Yeah. <laughs> It's Never not, thought I'd say that. It's but. not often, is it? Yeah, it actually was very good. Yeah, it was good. And then they did the lovely bias dresses, didn't they? Which we really loved. The bias dresses. Yeah. Although I think the right person went out because actually... He made it a stretch. He made it a stretch fabric. <laughs> which sort of defeated the object. It was my stretch. But it did sort of defeat the object. Yeah. A little bit. So, did everyone agree with that? I think it sort of agreed it was time for that for Sebastian to go, sadly. And this week's was the um, Japan week. I've written 1930s twice, but I know it was Japan week. <laughs> <laughs> Which I loved Japan week. So this, oh, and the thing you didn't miss this week was that Esme and a, and a colleague of hers had designed the pattern for the pattern challenge. Oh, cool. And it was a kimono. Did they call it that? They did. <gasps> I'm wondering what everyone thinks about that. Oh, um, and It was a kimono, kimono, kimono style jacket. But it had it was lovely actually, wasn't it? it was real, I hope she releases that as a pattern. Maybe Esme's going to do um, some patterns. Susan said that was the best transformation ever. It was, wasn't it, Susan? So I think we thought, oh, we like the transformation. Yeah, challenge. first time ever. Um, so yes, it, the, the first the pattern challenge was the was the kimono, um, and it reminded me. It was very similar to, you know, my victory patterns Trina dress. Mm -hmm. I'm just about the white one. Yeah. With the gap with the hole under the arm. Yeah. But they, it was really tricky because it was lined and they had to bag the lining out through the hem. Oh. Which I'm never very keen on a bag lining, but they had to make it in such short time and if you unless you get everything completely accurate on a bag lining, it's never gonna lay straight. So most of them the lining was pulling up underneath. Oh, okay. It was really tricky. What did everyone else think of that, the kimono? I love the pattern, but it would have been nice to have a bit longer and whether it needed to be lined, really. I can't believe they called it a kimono. Oh, no, I was quite surprised. Yeah, I wonder Surely they know. It's going to start the that whole row again about yeah. cultural appropriation. Um, but anyway, it was lovely. And then they did their, their transformation was um, repairing denim with sashiko. Oh, cool. Which was a little bit, it was fantastic, but it was a little bit um, harsh because it was hand stitching sashiko, isn't it? Yeah, and so, actually, if you haven't done sashiko before, it is a particular technique. They had lots of garments as inspiration, so they could see, and they'd put out all the threads and fabric, so they could have a look and get you know, to work out how it was done. Mm -hmm. um, Julie said she loved Japan Week. It is lovely, that coat, isn't it, Susan? Yeah, something she I love the little on. darts on the back shoulder. What, the Romana? Romana, yeah. Yeah, isn't it great? It's a really good coat. Um, yeah, Julie's saying she was very... Yeah, she did say it was based on a kimono, but then everyone calls it a kimono so it starts that whole thing again doesn't it yeah so yeah but it was it was lovely i wonder if that's why it was lined anyway it was great but the sashiko was really tricky and i thought they all did a fantastic job um but i think it was quite harsh they were judging it on the fact they hadn't done enough when it was quite a hmm. time limiting time limiting uh challenge but man you did a good job she made she did um the hand stitched rainbow so she mm. needed two patches and yeah so that they all did really well on that and then they did the origami garments you have to have a look at them because they were yeah, really look. good i love deborah she based it on a trend pattern um for a jacket and she taking inspiration from blossom trees and that mount kilimanjaro she did really well with her um really well with her um 
inspiration, using her inspiration. Um, what did everyone think of the result though? Do you think somebody should have gone home? Or were you quite happy that all four are going through? Oh, all four are going through. Hi, Jackie. Oh. How are you? Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Jackie. I didn't know that. Yes. No, I think that's a bit silly. I, yeah. I, I'm Who do you think should have gone? I think Brogan should have gone. Oh, really? Might she should have gone last week. That might be, be controversial. Honest. No, I think because she should have gone last week. Her dress was lovely, but it wasn't really origami. What does everyone else think about that? It's just, just me. Is it just me? <laughs> It no, but do you remember, I can't remember who told us, mm. that Patrick and Esme will have a favourite from the beginning mm. and will do everything they can to keep them in. And last week they seemed really annoyed that yeah. she wasn't doing well. And then I think they were relieved that Sebastian didn't do very well because really Brogan should have gone last week. Yeah. Oh, everyone's... <laughs> yeah, you see, everyone's saying it was a lovely surprise. That's what Mary is. It was a lovely surprise, but she felt, yeah, Brogan's was less origami. I mean, it'll be a great, it'll be a great final. It'll be great. More people in it. But uh, if somebody should go every week, if you don't, I mean, like last week, Sebastian went really because he didn't fit the brief. Mm. And Brogan's, it's a lovely dress, and it was she'd done it really well, but it didn't really fit the brief. It wasn't really origami. Um, mm. So. What were her other two challenges like? She was quite low down. She was on, her and Man Yi were both really, you know, they were near the bottom, so it could have been either of them going out. Okay. <laughs> very says, camera friendly yeah see is. they keep the camera yeah. people they keep the camera friendly ones into the end yeah but it's sad that they do that isn't it because then it makes it not as authentic mm. you know i love deborah's dress um but yeah i thought they all did annie yeah i annie's dress was really great and she'd taken inspiration from an origami rabbit that she'd made paper rabbit um i hope brogan does some grown up <laughs> next week <laughs> She's just making for her age, though, isn't she, Janet? She's only young. So it's, I mean, it was very well made and, cl and clever. It was a clever dress. Um, but yeah, Annie's dress was... Annie's, Annie's sort of creeping through. Who do we think is going to win it, then? I, I feel, really, between Annie and Deborah. Mm. Annie, that dress that Annie made was so good. It was... Um, it was all pleated and she'd made the pattern herself as well and it all stood up. Sally says she loved Deborah and her style. Yeah, I do. You're right, um, Sally. I, yeah, Deborah's inspiration came through. Annie to win. Yeah, I think Annie to win. Oh, hi, Justine. How are you? Hi, Justine. You've already mentioned your amazing makes this this <laughs> on with her sewers. Jackie said Annie or Deborah. Marianne yeah. loves Annie. Annie. Yeah, I love her. We're just talking about sewing bee, Justine. Who's going to win? older than her voice yes her voice is very young isn't it because we were quite surprised when she said she was a teacher yeah broken you mean yeah. yeah broken yeah like how are you a teacher yeah should still be in school anyway it'll be a good final it'll be a really good final that's deborah's personal style yeah yeah she's look and in fact she's looking I think she's looking better as the weeks have gone on. She was quite smart this week, wasn't she, with her hair back and a nice, you know, she looked really good this week. Yeah, Annie's very talented. Yeah, exactly. It's between Deborah and Annie, isn't it, really? But she teaches. <laughs> <laughs> Sally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Anyway, we really, I really enjoyed it. You'll have to catch up, Ains, because there are some really good. It's yeah, really I will. Good. Japan week is really good. I'm going to watch it this weekend yeah. when I'm sewing. Yeah. So while we're still chatting about sewing bee, I will. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just I'm distracting my behind the camera. I'm just laughing at Amy. While we're, well, <laughs> I've got something new to show you that we've got here in the sewing. Before I move on to my demo, we have uh, got our supply of lovely Ethel and Joan um, buttons and buckles. Eth Ethel and Joan um, were a company that were opposite us at Stitch Festival this year. Um, why they were the book I think because they edit backwards and forwards, Marianne. I think, yes, I think they edit. They they just film it all and they edit and cut it and chop it. I think it's filmed on the same day. Yeah, it's supposed to be over two days, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I don't think it is. No. Maybe it isn't. Or I yeah. think, actually, I think they have to wear the same outfit on both days. 
so that they can edit things from the beginning yeah, to exactly. the end. But they there we go, won't. Sally's saying. Sally knows to make editing easier. Um, yeah, so Ethel, Ethel and Joan were opposite us at Stitch Festival this you're year. Covering, and you're covering the buttons with your hands. There you go. <laughs> you were like this in front of them. <laughs> um, uh, the lovely lady, um, Louise, who makes these, named her company after her two grandmas, Ethel and Joan, and she made the moulds for her buttons. They're resin buttons. She made the moulds from buttons that she found in her granny's button box. It's a lovely story. Uh, and she makes them this lovely resin. So beautiful colours. I'll get Amy to pull them forward. A lot of them have a clear background and just bits of colour in them. So they pick up the fabric underneath. They're all on the website. So you can have a look at them. Um, we've just got a few the little flowers. Both ones are lovely. So you may recognise some of the classic designs. And then there's some buckles as well. Resin buckles. So yeah, we've got more on the website already. I'm going to use that one, I think, to make a, a belt. And she even uses all the, the bits that come out of the holes in the buttons when she punches the holes. She puts them back into her resin pot as well, so nothing gets wasted. She's very good about not wasting. She makes quite a lot of jewellery and stuff. She does jewellery as well. We've got some earrings, haven't we, we bought from the stand, from her stand. So yeah, check them all out. They're on the website, Ethel and Joan Buttons. They've got their own section. Sally, surprise she can deal effectively with 15 year old boys with baby voice. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that. Is that, a new, is that on Instagram? No. Oh, Facebook. Oh, mine's not the updated. The latest comment. Mine's not updated. I've still got ed to make editing easier. Oh, time. that's funny. I just want to refresh that because it might not be coming through unless my internet has gone off. Uh oh. I don't need that today. Very busy traffic outside. It's the Festival of Speed at Goodwood um, this week, so it's very busy. It's crazy. We're having to take very long diversions. Yeah, having to drive around the yeah, way yeah. to Goodwood today. Um, oh, there we go. Yes, I've seen that now. <laughs> so funny, Sally. <laughs> so I'm going to do a demo because this this was a requested demo um, by Suzanne, who messaged me this week and said, "Can I remind her how to do a sideways burrito?" Now, as you know, we do burritos. I think I demonstrated a burrito to do a yolk. Uh, on a on a shirt to neaten the edges there, but you can also use it to neaten the armholes on a sleeveless dress. So I thought I should maybe cut myself out a dress today. I thought I'd do that um, in the middle of teaching. Middle of, yeah, so I started it before the class today, and I just fiddled about all day doing it. And I'm using the Trend Patterns um, square dress, which is I, I like this. I wish I would have which is the best picture of this. I might go play comes in, but anyway, it's got panels at lots of different angles. Oh, you can probably see it better on the line drawing there. Hang on, let me come in. Oh, ooh, sorry. Um, but it's a sleeveless dress, basically, but I wanted to make this for ages, and I had this very nice fabric. Oh, Sue's here. Hi, Sue. Oh, Justine said the red arrows went over on the way to Goodwood. Hi, Sue. Hi, oh, hi, Sue. So... If you have a sleeveless dress like this, it's often, especially if it hasn't got a zip in the back, it's an over the head the one, it can be quite tricky to neatly um, finish off the armhole. So there's one that I've done there. I've made this, this is my lovely uh, fine cotton that I bought in Mood in New York, last time we were there, and I decided to do the facings, it's an all-in-one facing, to do them uh, in a cotton lawn, so I didn't want the stripes to show through. So here's one armhole that I've done already, I've neatened this armhole. Uh, and to do that, I've done what's called a sideways burrito. Uh, and uh, the, the dress that uh, Suzanne was doing it on is the Megas Atelier slip dress, which is another sleeveless dress. You've done it on the one you're wearing as well, haven't you? Uh, the I have, dress. yes, the summer dress I'm wearing. This is the summer dress from Megas Atelier. I did it on this one as well. So anything with an all-in-one facing uh, that's sleeveless, uh, you can use this technique. So the first thing you need to do is to stitch the shoulder seams on the garment and on the facing. Uh, press them open. Oh, hi, and then... Suzanne. We're just doing a sideways burrito. Ah, oh, I'm doing. I heard you've been cuddling twins, Suzanne. You're you're very um, uh, excused from being late for doing that. I must have been lovely. Uh, so yes, yeah, so you uh, then put your facing right sides together with the uh, main garment. Stitch around the neckline. Uh, snip the corner. Snip the curve and understitch. And then press the facing to the inside. This is what you'll have. You'll have your facing and your arm um, and your dress not stitched at the armhole. So, so to stitch this armhole neatly, I'm going to turn it around this way so you can see it better. Okay. 
So I'd already done one because I didn't want Amy to get cross with me for doing things full size <laughs> and not doing like a small sample. Thank you. Um, yeah, just in time, Suzanne. So what you do is you take your lay your garment out on the table with your neckline all nicely finished, and then you roll up the one arm hole over on the whole dress, roll the whole dress up onto the opposite shoulder like that so it's all rolled up onto the opposite shoulder and then you take the facing and bring it around underneath like this bring it all the way around so that you can make it right sides together with the fabric of the dress the dress is all rolled up I'm going to put that pin in that way so I can just match that shoulder seam So roll it up onto the shoulder and then pin the armhole edges right sides together. Now this dress is cut on the bias, so when I did the other one I noticed. But it all stretched. So I'm pinning at the shoulder pinning at the shoulder Oop, and sorry, then I just dropped the camera. pinning. Hi Catherine. Are you talking about burritos on Monday? Yeah, that's I think you were talking about it on the group on Monday. So Suzanne asked me to demonstrate. So I'm just demonstrating how to do it. So you roll up onto the shoulder, pin the armholes right sides together. I think if I was doing this again, I'd probably either stay stitch or put um, some usable bias stay tape around the arm. So I pin the... It is lovely fabric, isn't it, Suzanne? It's from Mood. It's from Mood, yeah. It's one of their fine cotton shirtings so pin together this pattern has got a one centimeter seam allowance so I'm just going to stitch this armhole just to show you how easy it is oh hi Heather Heather's here on Instagram hi Heather how are you She's saying hello all have a super time in the States everyone thank you very much we intend to I'm start packing Tomorrow. Let's decide what to take. Yeah, start. I need to Dresses start that. Start. Really Which pattern have you used, Suzanne? Saying it's this pattern, Suzanne. It's trend pattern square dress. Yes, I had when I bought this fabric. I had in mind that I wanted to do something with stripes going in different directions. So I'm just going to stitch around the armholes one centimeter seam allowance. Ooh. I haven't added all the other panels because I just wanted to get this neckline bit done to show you. Then I'll stitch the other panels on. And I'll do that this evening when I get home. Well, I have got a black sequin dress cut out on the table at the moment. <laughs> well, an under underline of a black sequin dress. That's what you do is a week before you go away, isn't it? Absolutely. Day before. making sure because I'm uh, making sure that everything's laying flat underneath particularly because this is a cut on the bias so this top panel I didn't have time I didn't have time to do is to neaten the bottom of the facing so I would have need normally I would neaten the, I'll do it afterwards neaten the bottom of the facing with uh, on the overlocker Go. so that's the armhole stitched right sides together like that so I'm going to do some snips on the curve if I had a bigger seam allowance I would trim it but it's only a one centimeter seam allowance so I probably won't worry about trimming it just going to snip around the curve and you can do this even if your shoulder seams are quite narrow these are quite wide ones so it makes it really easy okay so that's snipped and then all i'm going to do is pull the front through to the back so i'm just going to pull this through the shoulder and there we go quite small facings these ones there we go that's the armhole neatened so what I would do now is understitch this, 
stitch the seam allowances to the uh, facing and give it a good press. How would you stitch it when you get to the point where you can't get the machine? So like here? So oh, you wouldn't you be go, able you know, to... Only go as far as you can. Oh, right. You can't go all the way through. So you can probably get quite far on this one because it's got quite wide shoulders. Oh, yeah. Um, but um, when you've got narrow, just understitch as far as you can. Because even if you can understitch just this curve here, it's better than nothing. And then once you've understitched it, you can put the side seams together and stitch the side seam. This is only very short, so I haven't added the panels. Stitch the side seam across the facing and down the fabric. And then your facing will fold down inside. Cool. I don't want to stitch it because I want, no, you need I to, get to your do panels. my understitching. Did that make sense? Can you see how to do that? It's very, it's a very good technique for neatening the armholes of um, sleeveless dresses. There you go. You stitch your side seam and then your facing sit down inside like that. Sue said, such a clever technique. Uh, Suzanne, is it better to do this without the skirt attached? Uh, it can be because it's less to pull through the shoulder seams. <laughs> so, how wide yeah, your shoulder is. Yeah, really, isn't on it? the slip dress, I think it's easier to do it before you put the skirt on. Yeah, because you can just, um, it's less to pull through. So there we go. So a nice neatened armhole on a sleeveless top. Or dress, this is a sleeveless dress. So I'm going to finish this off. I'm going to overlock the facing, understitch the armholes, and put the rest of the panels on and stitch the side seams. There you go. That's my technique today. I hope that was okay, Suzanne. Reminded you for your um, slip dress. There you go. Look, that's going to be... It is really nice when it's hot because it's a very light, it's a very light fabric. So that's that way, and the other stripes go the other way. Marianne said she's never done it that way, so thank you. Good, I find it really good. There we go. You can see the shoulder seams on this and the one I'm wearing are quite wide, so um, it's easy to pull through. But you can do it on, even on very narrow shoulder seams. There you go, sideways burrito. So, I think Ainsley's going to come in, aren't you, Ainsley? I have to rush off quickly. Oh, yeah. I'll be right there. Ainsley's got to rush off. So, do you think you'll give that a go? I hope you have, have a go. It's really easy uh, and uh, makes everything um, really nice and neat. I think years ago we used to have to stitch sort of halfway up and then stitch the shoulder seam and then finish it by hand. But, uh, yeah, I much prefer this way of doing it. Amy's, Amy's rooting around in the kitchen now. Have you, have you finished your Amy jumpsuit? Oh, brilliant. We did the, my Amy jumpsuit's on the stand over there behind me. We did a closet core Amy jumpsuit so long. We, we, the so long finished last night with just a few bits to finish off. I've just got to do the understitching on the neck and make the sash. So I'll show you that when it's finished. We'll do some pictures. I think it'd be a great one. <laughs> Making your brain hurt on <laughs> Justine. Uh, quick smartish dress. Um, what I'm going to make for this underdone dress is too sheer. Um, a smart, quick, smartish dress. This one's very quick. It depends if you like if you like the bias. If you like the bias on it, I'm, I mean, I just I just cut this out today and I'm just going to sew it together. That's a very quick one. Um, the uh, Mess Atelier slip dress is very quick. South Pole dress is quick. Um, oh no, Janice! So if Amy jumped, Amy jumps, she broke her machine. That's not good, Janet. No, it does. It was something to do with the zip, wasn't it? The zip. We were, we were trying to work out if the zip foot was fitting the machine. It may be. You know, when it when you broke those needles, it might have thrown the timing out, um, Janet. But I uh, hope you got it fixed okay. Cynthia says jumpsuit looks good, but it's a bit tight on the hips, so I need to find a way to get an extra inch. Oh, is it? Well, I thought we'd I thought we'd um, done that so well, Cynthia. Might have to put a go day in or something. Be now. Oh, Amy's coming. No go day. Amy's coming. Amy's got her new South Pole dress on, which is very pretty. I'm not over that stand. So. Yeah, I've got, <laughs> got a new stand. We've got a new stand there with all the Ethel and Joan buttons on. Which is very pretty. There's too many wires on the, the floor now. Isn't wires. There? Gosh, that's but an obstacle course. It is. Here. Yeah. yeah. That'll do, won't it? That'll do. Mayfair dress would be good. Yeah. That's the jersey dress, right. the Mayfair dress, or the kilo wrap dress. That's always a good one if you've got jersey fabric. Um, 
Actually, that can be made in um, uh, the kilo dust can be made in, in woven or stretch. Pretty uh, fabric. Thank yeah. you. This is from Fabric Godmother. Yes. Um, I bought at Stitch Festival. It shows off your tan. It's it very tan, doesn't it? <laughs> it's actually, this is the loveliest fabric. It's a viscose crepe from Fabric Godmother. This is one of her own prints, one of the vintagey ones. I've worn this dress so much since I made it. Yeah. Classic Southport. Southport. We, you know, we wear them a lot. Yeah. I might have to make another one for New York mm. if I have time. I've got a pattern cut out at home. Have I did you? lots of cutting out before, like my family just wanted to make it now. So now I've cut this one and I'm cutting it. That's very close. It's close to you. <laughs> it's not close to me. <laughs> I can't see, remember? Thanks, Thanks Suzanne. Good. Yeah, it looks really pretty, doesn't it? They do that that print on different types lots of fabric. Lots of colours and lots of different base cloths, yeah. Mm. I tried to pattern match and then don't know what even I don't know what happened with my pattern matching. I thought I'd mastered it, but I hadn't. Um as Mayfair pattern. A bit smarter than the kilo. It, it is. is, it's really nice. I'm gonna make it. I've got some black jersey to make it in. Yeah, and the Mayfair, we've done it um like Suzanne, we took the gathering out. I, I took the gathering out put the gathering back in a bit higher but left the belt off. I left mine as you, it was. You left the belt off though, haven't you? No. Did you leave the belt? I kept oh, it. Okay. I did it as it was. Mm. Yeah, so yes. But I put a split in But it. if you look at Suzanne's, Suzanne's is great. If you look at, she got pictures of the back of the neck and everything. Thank you, Jackie. So. It was good. We had a really good jeans version. Joe said, I can't believe I've made a pair of jeans that look like jeans. <laughs> Everyone did so well. They were finished, pretty yeah. much. Well, Claire, Claire's not quite finished, but she she knows what she's got to do to finish. It's only waistband, really, isn't yeah. it? For her? Um, yeah, buttonhole on Joe's. Uh, Julia finished completely. Amazing. So yeah, really good. It was really good. They did so well. Very impressed. Yeah, they used the ginger pattern. My closet core ginger jeans pattern, and it's such a good fit. No problem with fit at all, actually. I think I think we had to do on Claire's. We had to do. She's got quite a sway back, so we had to do a bit of fitting there. Mm. But otherwise. Great. Very good. I did some things there, just in case. Oh, so yeah. events coming up when we so get back. So events coming up when we get back. I've been full on. Full on. And yes. I'm very sorry to all the cruise people for the mountain of emails you've had today. <laughs> I did apologise in the last one and say, I'm so sorry. There's another one. Another email. Um, oh, oh yes, you saw them last night, didn't you? Yeah. That's yes. Good. And then Claire went up to see the new, um, oh, Emma Thompson film, mm. which she said was good. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I've been Mrs. Logistics over here. Um, she said you look pale. You're definitely not pale. She's definitely not pale, Janet. <laughs> so, ah, Marianne, yes. That's, what you that's on my little thing to mention. So we have two events coming up after the cruise. First one is the open day mm -hmm. here in the sewing room uh, and the exhibition of the dressmaker's portfolio. And they've got loads to show you. You've been mm -hmm. amazed by them. And that is on Saturday... 23rd of 23rd July? 23rd of July. I, I was going to say 26th, but I think it's the 23rd, just quickly check that. I'm just going to quickly check that. <laughs> no, 23rd, isn't it? 23rd. Yeah. Exhibition on open day. And then the garden party, we are running again. Tickets are up for sale on the website. And that is on Saturday the 13th of August. Garden party. Um, at the same place as last year Royal in Oak. the Royal Oak pub down the road. We've got the lovely marquee space and... Frost for some sunshine this time. We're doing um, it as an afternoon tea sort of thing yeah. like this time. And it's yeah. going to be a little bit longer this time because last time we realised it was just over far too quickly. Yeah. So we've got the space a bit longer this time. Mm. Um, yes. So open day and garden party. You don't need to book tickets for the open day. There is an RSVP option um, just so we can keep an eye on numbers, but that was more important last year yeah, when we had to monitor numbers for COVID. Mm. So just feel free to come along between 11 and 5. Yeah. On that day, we've got Bloomsbury Square will be here selling fabric. Um, Make the Atelier will be here selling some patterns. Mm -hmm. And of course, our entire haberdashery shop, which we need to stock up. We do, yeah. Before we go. Yeah. <laughs> well, like <laughs> um, the minute we get back. Yeah, oh yes, we do. Yes. <laughs> it's not long, is it? I thought that. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. the week after we get back. So, uh, yes. Oh, I need to make something then. Yeah. Oh, you could make something on the ship now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the garden party. Yeah. That's we have got exciting. a new sew along actually, which I called the garden party dress, starting when we get back from New York on a Thursday evening, which is the McCall's pattern. Yeah. Finishes the Thursday That's before. the dress I just made yesterday. It was, yeah. Finishes the um, Thursday before the garden party. Perfect. Perfect. It's like we planned it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was 
We're quite good at this, really, aren't we? Maybe. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Um, so yes, so in the spirit of summer, mm. I thought I would do a summery cocktail. No time to sleep, no. No time There's to sleep. no time to sleep. No. Um, so my summery cocktail is called an elderflower fizz. Um, I was trying to think of one, things that I already had here, but also something quite light and summery and easy that we can make and drink mm. when those hot days that we've been having recently. So the key ingredient is Saint Germain, which lots of people do end up having this beautiful bottle. I know that Cynthia's got some. Yeah. Cynthia's got some. <laughs> and it's just such a nice bottle, I like having it anyway. But it's a very nice elderflower liqueur. Um, vodka, a bit of vodka. Some fizz of your choice, whereas it, whether it's Prosecco champagne, English sparkling. We decided that we quite like rosé. When we were at yeah. Tinwood doing our uh, wine tasting for the wedding, we decided that rosé. I think it's going to be rosé. So was the I am today. using rosé today because I had mm. a bottle of it. Um, you need some agave syrup, or you can use maple syrup. You can also use normal sugar syrup, but you want more of a caramelly flavour. So you could make a sugar syrup with like a demerara. And you need a lime sour mix, which is really just two parts lime juice, one part agave. So those are the ingredients. Now, let's get our shaker. My glasses. There is, it might not be as cold as we want it to be. Is it the one that Suzanne's made? Yes, I think it is. Yes, it's the one loads of people are making that pattern at the moment. Tim Wood Sparkling. It is delicious, isn't, isn't it, it? It was all yes. of our favourites, but there was eight of us yeah. at the tasting from our family. Um, and we tried three wines. We tried the Blanc de Blanc and their Brut and the Rosé. Mm. And we sort of did a little vote on our table. And we were like seven out of eight liked mm, the Rosé best. Is, yeah. So. But all the people at the wine tasting, they asked it what everyone liked in the whole room, and we were the only table that liked the wine Yeah, and they, everybody really else good. liked the Blanc de Blanc, which, which was our least mean. favourite, mm -hmm. so, yeah. who knows? We liked it. Yeah, we did. But I did say, actually, because it was a very cold day, wasn't it? It was. And the Blanc de Blanc's better on the sunny day. So yeah. Um, so I don't have a lot of ice, because for some reason, my... Ice tray was in the freezer and it only had one ice cube in it. Yeah, we've got uh, an ice stealing ghost here. Yeah. So there's a little bit of. Oh. This is all my ice that I managed to make in an hour before. A little bit of ice, but the champagne is cold. It's cut out. Oh, Sally's made, made it. Yeah, yeah, and I've just made it actually. Mm. There's a lot of gathering involved. I've got a gathering tip. I, I wish I'd known you. the gathering tip last night. <laughs> that would have been very <laughs> helpful. I'll have to do it as a demo on the live. Yeah. Maybe I'll do a little video. That's a good idea. For YouTube, do a little video for YouTube for gathering. Because there's a lot of dresses with ruffles. In fact, all those new Liberty patterns have got ruffles. Lots of ruffles um, so first, you need um, the elderflower liqueur is per person half a shot, so 12.5 mil. So should you have a whole uh, glass full of ice there, ideally? Ideally, you'd want more ice than that. Yeah, like halfway up. But it'll be fine. We've got chilled um, sparkling wine to go in. Although, big news is that soon, like champagne and Prosecco, you can mm. order a glass of Sussex. Yes, how exciting is Sussex that? Sussex has been accredited. Yeah. So that is very exciting news down here for us. Hopefully one day in New York we'll be, can I have a glass of Sussex, please? Yes, don't want Prosecco. Don't want Prosecco or champagne. Mm. Um, the same amount of vodka, so half a shot each, or for me I'm doing 12.5 now. For me I'm doing double. Then, of the little, I just need to stir that because it's separated, my little sour mix. It's one whole shot per person, so 25 Ooh, mils quite sharp, then. of the mm. lime and agave. Well, it's not because it's got sugar in it. Mm. Lime and agave mixture. And then mm. we're actually going to put some extra agave in. We're going to do another teaspoon. Oh, look, I've started. I have to tell you about the gathering tip. Now. Oh, you're going to have to because I've got gathering to do this weekend. So when you're when you're gathering, obviously, normally you would uh, do a long machine stitch and pull it up, or two rows of long machine stitching. If you do a zigzag stitch over some embroidery thread or some cord, then you can just pull up the embroidery thread. So you need to make your zigzag stitch about a bit wide. Do a little test like a piece first. Zigzag. No, no, normal zigzag. Just, mm -hmm. just a normal zigzag. Otherwise, you stitch into the cord. There's a normal one up, one down zigzag stitch. I think I did stitch width six and stitch length two on my zigzag stitch. And just zigzag over a piece of cord 
and then pull up the cord. There you go, that's my gathering tip. It's very good. <laughs> try it, try it. It's really good. It works so well. And you get a really nice even gather. And then once you've stitched your two pieces together, you can pull the cord out. You don't have to leave the cord in your dress. You put it out. It's very quiet. It's very it's quiet. A bit quiet. <laughs> no ice in there. But it'll be fine. Um, and then uh, I'm going to double strain it because it's got some lime. fresh lime. I'll do a little video of the, uh, the little gathering thing, but it's yeah, it's well worth it. Yeah, I'll try it. But how does the cord not just like pull out? It's not secured anywhere. Well, you don't need it to. You just need to pull up while you're pinning the two pieces together. You can tie it around a pin at the end if you want. Oh, I'm intrigued. Yeah. Try that on the cruise. Yes. Oh yes, we'll do it on the cruise. I'll do it as one of the little demos one day. We'll do it on there. So then, once you poured your mixture in the bottom of your glass you just top it with some champagne now the garnish today i couldn't get because oh. the garnish is fresh thyme and our little tesco express oh, didn't have any oh, what a shame. so what you would do is i'll show you well I, i'll tell you tell you <laughs> you have to do a video of that as well then. yeah now we'll just top it with whatever fizz you wish we've got rosé pretty colour could be a nice wedding cocktail. Oh, it could, wouldn't it? So it should be a sort of a liney, elderflowery loveliness. Loveliness. Mm. So then, what you would do is take a sprig of thyme, smack it in between your hands, and then use it to stir the drink, oh, and just yeah. sit it on the edge as a oh, garnish so, good. But so you get like a flavor of time but otherwise we don't have that imagine it's there yeah imagine there's time I'm imagining. it's pretty yeah cheers 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 everybody cheers. oh i like that nice isn't it yes that'll keep us going while we tidy up a bit like a french 75 it is isn't it yeah but instead of gin mm. you've got vodka okay. and elderflower mm. it's lovely it's slightly separated isn't it naturally mm. We'll leave that with all the tidying up. We will. The jeans, the jeans class too. made quite a mess today, but that's fine. Cheers, <laughs> Cheers, Cheers everybody. Cheers. Do try this one. It's really lovely. And I'm it's sure nice. after Amy's previous cocktail, you've all got some uh, Saint Germain. You probably do. <laughs> and it would be a really good one. You could make up that mixture in a jug first mm. of the elderflower and the vodka and the lime and sugar. And uh, just pour it into lots of glasses. Suzanne's got bubbles as well. So, yeah. So we won't be back for quite a while. Uh, it's probably going to be about three weeks. I've probably got the date on my calendar. Maybe the day before look. the open day, probably. Oh, previous month. Let me have a quick look. It might be if we're here. Uh, yes, the 22nd. It is, 22nd. We get back on the 15th. So our next live will be the 22nd. So we'll be able to tell you all about our trip. It's very exciting. <laughs> You're going to be sick time. of it. Yeah, we'll be. You'll be so sick of us by next week. We're so full of it. Um, yeah, thanks really Nan. Good. I'll come and make you one. Yeah. Thank you very much, Susan. So we will see you all uh, in, I think it's four weeks actually. Mm -hmm. uh, four weeks' time. Uh, but we will post lots of pictures. Won't we? We, will. we will. We'll try our best. We will. We'll try and do some funny reels and things yeah. like that. What running around with I'll you. get everyone jumping. Yeah. <laughs> with their bags. Yeah. There'll be suddenly one minute with no bags and then suddenly surrounded with bags. Yeah. Shopping <laughs> this is what all. happens. Yeah. It's, it's very nice. exciting, isn't mm. it, Susan? Yeah, we're gonna do it. First sewing cruise. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, see you Tuesday, Jilly. Thank you very much, Catherine. Thank you very much. Got to go to oh, yeah, I have to go. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we could sit here all afternoon chatting. Yeah. Today, we? It's terrible. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope I haven't. I've given you so much information today. Anyway, it's lovely to see you, and we will be here in four weeks' time uh, to, talk, to talk to you all about New York and what we've got planned coming up. Thanks See so you soon. Bye.